bacterial DNA replication. It identified in E. coli bacteria. E. coli means Icherichia coli bacteria. So bacteria belongs to prokaryotic living organism. So they didn't have any true nucleus. They contains only DNA genetic material in their cells. So bacterial DNA replication is also called prokaryotic DNA replication. First, we discussed about the DNA structure. DNA deoxyribose nucleic acid it is in double helical structure double helical structure it shows major grooves and minor grooves according to watson and crick dna namuna here it is in this dna between these two long polynucleotide chains between the nitrogenous bases, hydrogen bonds are present. Mainly between thymine and adenine, two hydrogen bonds are present. And between guanine and cytosine, three hydrogen bonds are present. So between these two bonds, thymine, adenine, hydrogen bonds only two. So they are broke down by easily with the help of MJ. So in the DNA replication, start at adenine thymine only. Adenine thymine because adenine thymine containing only two hydrogen bonds. The two hydrogen bonds are also called weak hydrogen bonds. The weak hydrogen bonds are initially identified by one specialized MJ, that is helicase. Helicase MJ is identified adenine thymine hydrogen bonds. Later, that hydrogen bonds are cleaved by helicase MJ to make a bubble-like structure or capital Y-shaped structure. The capital Y shaped structure is also called origin of replication. Origin of replication. With the help of helicase MJ, the two long polynucleotide chains are cleaves from or leaves from each other. And each polynucleotide chain is in a single stand position. So after Cleavase, the single strand polynucleotide chains do not convert into double helical structure by the adding of single strand binding proteins. If the strands are leave from each other with the help of helicase enzyme, on the back side of the single strand of DNA, some proteins are attached, some proteins are binded on the back side of the DNA single strand. So these proteins helps in that strand is continuous in the single strand position only. They cannot turn into double helical structure. Later, at the replication origin, initiation of replication origin, some specialized MGMs are involved in the DNA replication. Initially, the DNA replication starts from the Y, capital Y shaped structure. It is also called replication origin. In the replication origin, one important MGM, primase, RNA primase, synthesized one fragment of RNA. One fragment of RNA is synthesized and that the RNA primary is attached on the initiation place of the 
DNA replication of RSN. Later, RNA primary is attached on this place. Then DNA polymerase 3 is involved in the replication function. Initially, what will happen here it is, what was happened? RNA primer is synthesized by RNA primase MGM. If RNA primase MGM is synthesized one fragment of RNA primer, that RNA primer is attached on the replication of origin place. Later, DNA polymerase is involved in the synthesis of second polynucleotide chain at end of the RNA primer. See, RNA primer is attached to later DNA polymerase 3 MGM synthesize new DNA fragment with the help of DNA polymerase 3. It is a continuation process. So that with the help of DNA polymerase 3 from the RNA primer, long length of DNA, new DNA strand is synthesized from 3 primer to, sorry, 5 primer to 3 primer with the help of DNA polymerase 3. It is a continuation process without any disturbance. So this DNA template is also called a leading stand. On this leading stand, on this template, DNA is continuously developed from 5 prime to 3 prime with the help of DNA polymerase 3. On opposite of leading stand, a logging stand is there. Here also on the logging stand, with the help of RNA primase, one RNA primer is synthesized, it is attached on this. Later on this RNA primer, with the help of DNA polymerase 3, synthesized new DNA fragment, here also from 5 prime to 3 prime but it is not continuation manner. New DNA stands are synthesized as a fragments on the logging stand. But on leading stand, new DNA stand is continuously synthesized from 5 prime to 3 prime with the help of DNA polymerase 3. So continuously new DNA stand is synthesized on the leading stand Opposite of the leading stand, one template, one DNA template act as a logging stand. So logging stand, on this logging stand, RNA primers repeatedly attached on this stand. So between the RNA primers, new DNA stand is synthesized by the DNA polymerase, MG. So on the logging stand, repeatedly RNA polymerase. CRD is one RNA polymerase initially synthesized with the help of DNA polymerase 3 MGM. New DNA stand is synthesized from 5 prime to 3 prime. It is over. Later, new RNA primase synthesized one RNA primer. It is attached on the logging stand. Again, new DNA polymerase 3 is synthesized from RNA primer. So here it is from RNA primer 5 prime to 3 prime. From this direction, it can synthesize only small length of DNA, new DNA on the lagging stand. Finally, we can observe on the leading stand only continuation DNA, new continuation DNA synthesized from, uh, from 5 prime to 3 prime. But on the logging stand, Repeatedly RNA primers are attached. So repeatedly primers attached between the two re RNA primers. New DNA copy is synthesized with the help of DNA polymerase 3. See, on this logging stand, RNA primers are repeatedly attached. And between these two RNA primers, new DNA is synthesized as a fragments. So these fragments are identified by Okajaki scientist. So these new DNA fragments are also called Okajaki fragments.
Okazaki fragments are identified on the logging stand only, not on leading stand. So what we observed children here it is DNA contain, new DNA strand contains RNA primers. So that RNA primers are replaced. That RNA primers are replaced and new DNA synthesized with the help of DNA polymerase 1 MJ. Remind here it is two enzymes are involved in the synthesis of DNA copies on the logging stand. First large length of new DNA synthesized by the DNA polymerase 3MJ. DNA polymerase 3MJ. See here it is from here to here it is one DNA. Here to here it is one DNA. Between these two new DNAs, one small fragments are there. What are the small fragments? RNA primers. So these RNA primers also replaced. These RNA primers also replaced. And these RNA primers are replaced with new DNA with the help of DNA polymerase 1 MJ. With the help of DNA polymerase 1 MJ. Finally, on this lead, uh, logging stand, different uh, number of uh, new DNA copies are identified. The new DNA copies are identified by Okajaki scientists. So these DNA fragments are also called Okajaki fragments. Finally, at end of these DNA replication, that fragments are ligased by DNA ligase engine on the logging stand. So with the help of DNA ligase, all fragments are binded to make a large length of new DNA copy also on the logging stand. Finally, we observed it is the continuation process. If the DNA replication is involved in the E. coli or in the prokaryotic bacteria on the leading stand, continuously new DNA is synthesized without any disturbance with the help of DNA polymerase 3. But on the logging stand, RNA primers are repeatedly attached. From that RNA primers, new DNA copies are synthesized by DNA polymerase MGM, DNA polymerase 3 MGM. That RNA primers are replaced with the DNAs, DNA polymerase 1 MGM. So on the logging stand, on the logging stand, DNA copies are developed or synthesized by fragment method. So that all fragments are ligased by DNA ligase. Finally, that all fragments are to make a large length of new DNA copy on the logging stand as well as on the leading stand. Finally, by the DNA replication, one parental DNA can develop into two daughter DNAs. In each daughter DNA, 50% of genetic material is came from the parental DNA and 50% of the DNA is synthesized by the DNA polymerase 1 and DNA polymerase 3 MG. So this type of DNA replication is also called semi-conservative DNA replication. Semi-conservative DNA replication means the parental DNA containing two long polynucleotide chains. The two long polynucleotide chains are leave from each other with the help of helicase engine. Later, it looks like a capital Y shape structure is called origin of replication. If that templates, if that polynucleotide chains are leave from each other, then single strand binding proteins are attached on the templates. That proteins may be helps in that DNA strand cannot develop into double helical structure. Later, with the help of RNA primers, with the help of DNA polymerase 3 and 1, new DNA copy is synthesized on the leading strand as well as on the logging strand. Finally, new daughter DNA containing two long polynucleated chains. From the two polynucleated chains, 50% of the polynucleated chains are came from the parental DNA. And 50% of the DNAs are 
synthesized by the help of DNA polymerase enzymes. See one more important point in this DNA replication. On the leading strand, only DNA polymerase 3 MGM is involved for the synthesis of new DNA copy. But on the leading strand, on the logging strand, two DNA polymerase, one is DNA polymerase 3, one is DNA polymerase 1. DNA polymerase 3 is synthesized a large length of DNA and RNA primers, RNA primers also replaced with the DNAs, synthesis of DNAs with the help of DNA polymerase 1 enzyme. Finally, by the DNA replication from one parental DNA, two daughter DNAs are formed. If the two daughter DNAs are formed, that bacteria, that prokaryotic cell, ready to participate in the binary fission. It is the DNA replication process in eukaryotic cells like in E. coli, Ichirisha coli bacteria.